from the Piazza at Quinnipiac University, it's Late Night with Kevin Carroll. Tonight's segments, Trick or Treating with Kevin and Joe, and Kevin Versus, with special guest Kyle Yang. And here's your host, Kevin Carroll. How's everyone doing tonight? Good, yeah? Good, all right, glad to hear it. So a lot has happened since our last episode in these past couple weeks. Uh, for instance, in the news, Tiger Woods recently hit a golf ball across two continents, but it's still not the first time his balls have spanned both hemispheres. <laughs> More from the promiscuous this week. A Russian woman has used the internet to auction off her virginity for $27,000. So someone just let the bursar know that I'm gonna be a few grand short on tuition this semester. <laughs> In other news, a woman in North Dakota reported to police that someone broke into her house, cooked her bacon, and drank her beer. The authorities are now on the lookout for a male with motivation to steal booze and breakfast meat, so if you fall under the category of every guy ever, we're on to you. <laughs> Speaking of other amazingly awesome misdemeanors, a man in Dallas fell asleep at the wheel and crashed his car into the side of a mattress store. But good news, the glass of wine at the end of the Tempur-Pedic didn't spill. <laughs> Buy yours today. <laughs> Turning to the celebrity world, James Franco recently discussed that he has an attraction to playing gay characters in movies. But like, in the straightest way possible, bro. <laughs> Don't know if you guys have heard the word on the playground, uh, but this week in Pennsylvania, a 12-year-old boy robbed a lemonade stand uh, when asked about his defense, his attorney said, I'm telling mom. <laughs> it's the cutest crime ever. I love it. Uh, in other states that no one cares about, a Florida woman faces several charges after she allegedly called 911 to report drunk people at a bar. Police say this was the last straw after she called last week to report littering at a landfill. <laughs> Moving across the Atlantic, According to the British media, Prince George is now considered a fashion icon. Lady Gaga is super upset and will be sporting a diaper at next year's VMAs to try to one-up Lord Goo Goo. <laughs> Lady Gaga, Lord Goo Goo, it's like, it's a baby joke. You'll get it. Elsewhere outside our borders, the Toronto mayor has been caught smoking crack. Even the Toronto mayor has given up on Toronto. <laughs> Here's news of foreigners at least trying to act American. New information has come out alleging that Usain Bolt ate 100 Chicken McNuggets the day before the Beijing Olympics. Skeptics now question his legitimacy, saying he only won because the finish line was in the direction of the bathroom. <laughs> and right back to global mayhem in China, a two-year-old gave birth to its own unborn twin. China's gotten so cramped they have to put people inside of people. It's being called babyception. Here's a picture of the Proud family. <laughs> All right, guys, that's our monologue. Give it up. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> All righty. So that uh, Chinese baby thing is going to haunt my dreams forever. Uh, probably one of the craziest stories I've heard in a while. But none crazier. I'm going to hold this. <laughs> but none crazier than the mass holes were on this campus after the World Series win. We were lucky enough to get our correspondents out there to get some footage of the mayhem. Why don't we check that out right now? Sox are number one in the world. We're on top. No one's beating us. World Series champs, you heard it here first. Let's go, Sox. Woo. Bring it home. I feel great. My freaking team won. Feel, dude, we just fucking won the world championship. How do I feel? Who's your favorite player? Who's that favorite? David Ortiz. Are you kidding me? I'm from Boston. Red Sox are the best. 
technically yeah, speaking, I don't really know why everyone's out here. I mean, half these kids probably never played baseball in their life. Yeah, totally true. I mean, the team, this, this is Connecticut anyways. I don't know why we're talking about Boston. We should be talking about the basketball next, clinching the win. one right, tonight, wait, baby. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to cut you one right there. I know all you little boys want your turn on the microphone, but when you're the champ, there's nothing else happening. It's only me, and it's going to be me from Monday night, Sunday night, and the other night you got on this camera, and you can keep it on me because I'm going to have the belt regardless. Woo. And that's Fontango. Right, there you have it. That's fun dongle. Fun dongle. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Pretty wild stuff. Unfortunately, everyone in that video was too hungover to participate in Halloween festivities the next day. But luckily, my experience with alcohol stops at the sip of beer my dad gave me that one time. Uh, so I was up and ready for the action. Uh, I was able to go trick-or-treating around the dorms uh, this past weekend, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, anywhere else but on main campus, and I probably would be on Dateline. But uh, for now, we're sticking to late night, so why don't we check that out? Hey, trick or treat! How you doing? Do you have anything for us? Yeah. A shirt or something? <laughs> no, I don't have anything for you. Nothing? Here you go, I got some tape. Oh, some oh, tape! Oh, wow. Thank you! <laughs> That's what, oh, but it's Halloween theme, so yeah. it works. No. What about that iPad? Uh, no. Okay. Wow, are, are you the, kidding me? You guys can Don't take a hand, No, oh, wow. I have the whole bag, oh, okay. too. All right, I'll take it. Candy. Wow. <laughs> God, That's a little, oh, that was a lot. That's ridiculous. Have you used that chapstick? We're looking for whatever. whatever we can get. That Keurig, whatever. It's like my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you got. Beggars can not nice. I'll take it's perfect. That. that is perfect. Thank you very much. You Happy Halloween to Happy you. Happy Halloween. Have a good one. You too. You a spoon or anything? Yeah, I'm going to give you the spoon too. Oh, wow. All right. So generous. Thank you. Spoonful of fluff. Wow. That's safe now. That's kind of just a towel. I can hear you showering. I know you're in there. You don't have like any shoelaces or. Hey, hey, trick or treat! Sorry about your loss, but uh. <laughs> we'll get them candy. Yeah, you know what? Here's some Twizzlers. What do you want? Here, here's some uh. Here's a spoon. And uh, you know. Here's a couple MMs. You know, if I was a pedophile, I would be giving out these MMs. True. I see the trail. The candy of choice. Of sex offenders. Uh, <laughs> only the loosest. But yeah, honestly, we got more candy than I, I expected. Yeah. I, I was anticipating more paper clips and tampons. We're and, doing this every year. And the like, why not? Right? I'd say it's a win. Alright, well, back to you guys in the studio. This is a success. Yeah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> What fun, what fun. I, just for the record, uh, the kid in his bed with a bag of M&Ms already there was not scripted at all. I don't know what was happening before we knocked on the door, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad I don't know. Uh, anyway, that was, that was a good time. But it was nothing compared to my second Halloween costume, which you're gonna see in this next segment. Uh, I also went as a lanky, unathletic virgin. I swear it's just a costume, ladies. Check it out. Kevin versus. I will be having a chat with uh, Jasmine Martin of the women's basketball team. I've been called the white Kirk Heinrich in the past. My record speaks for itself. I'm going to try to walk on to the team this year. So hopefully I'll be taking Jasmine's spot. Maybe a couple scouts will be out here today. They'll see what I got. They'll see it's better than what she's got, more importantly. And uh, I'll be able to talk some sense into the coach, get us a winning record in the MAC this year. Let's do it. When did you start playing basketball? Um, when I was probably about eight years old. Nice. Yeah, I didn't want to play soccer anymore, so. I, I started like a week and a half ago. Very nice. So, uh, you could say I'm a seasoned veteran. Yeah. What position do you play? I'm a um, two guard, two three guard. So it's okay. like a combo, shooting, uh, oh, right. driving to the basket. Yeah, because I don't really know what any of that okay. is. I don't even know, I didn't know that there were positions in basketball. Yes, there know. are. We, 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 Obviously, switch conferences. Mm -hmm. You played last season. Yes, uh, we're in the MAC now, yeah. so um, we're looking forward to having a really big season and hopefully ending Maris' streak. 
mean, we can. I think you might play. just be scared. We can play if you want. We, I mean, we we could play. I I guess. All right. Well. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm hands. ready. The ball's in your hands. I don't. Oh. Oh wait. Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, that went in, uh, didn't it? Hit net, but not quite. Okay, well, we'll fix it in post. Nice try. All right, I'm gonna, uh, well, this is fun, I guess. It was. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about it, Steve. Well, we are going to take a quick commercial break right now, but when we come back, we have an exclusive interview with Kyle Liang. You don't want to miss Woo! it. Stick around after this. <laughs> I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Cue cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Right now, we have an exclusive interview with a fine young gentleman. He's a freshman here at Quinnipiac. He is on the cross-country team, and he's an avid dancer. Please help me welcome Kyle Liang. All righty. So, so you're a dancer, and you run cross-country. Is that, to me that seems like a girly combination of hobbies. Maybe that's just the girls I hang out with, because uh, when I dance with them, they run away. So I don't know if they all do that too, but uh, that's, that's got to keep you pretty busy, huh? Yeah, no, it, I mean, it's, it's really exhausting, but it's, it's worth it. Like, I did try a lot of things when I was younger, and some things stuck, some things didn't, and running and dancing were two of the things that stuck. What's your favorite, if you had to pick one, running or dance? Um, it's I got tough, some. Right? I got some teammates in the room, so I'm gonna say running. <laughs> I'm gonna say running. That sounds good. Uh, and your your YouTube channel has over 2.6 million views. 2.6 million. Yeah, cheers for that. That's very impressive. Um, what do you? So I feel like you're an expert in the field. What do you think is the greatest dance move of our generation? It could be the Macarena, Gangnam Style's up there. The Bernie, of course. I mean, by default, you gotta Ooh. pick one though. Ooh, What's your go-to move? I'm sure you uh, I'm a big Cat Daddy fan. Ooh, the Cat Daddy. I love Daddy. the Cat Daddy. Classic. I'm a big Cat Daddy fan. I'm a little too white for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a little where, too Asian where, for that, where, too. Where'd you learn to dance? Oh, this is going to sound really nerdy, but um, it was like, I was like 12, 13 years old, yeah. and I found out that you could search how to do things on YouTube. Okay. So I was like searching, like, oh, how to slice an orange or something, <laughs> and I was like, and then you I was like, dancer. Yeah, I was like, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, I went from how to slicing an orange to it's being a dancer. Kind of a crazy turn of events. Yeah. But you, you learned to dance on YouTube. Yeah, pretty much for the most part. And, and uh, now I've seen that you, you have your own how-to dance videos on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, so is there some guy in his mom's basement who made the video that showed you who hates you right now because you have over 2 million views? I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. I, yeah, I've had a lot I, of mean yeah. comments in my yeah, day. Yeah, it kind so. of seems like you one-upped him there a little bit. Yeah. Um, I actually learned to dance from DDR. So, oh, uh, <laughs> you're in like 50% of the Asian population. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get me any chicks when I'm stomping on their feet and breaking their toes, but, you know. Uh, 
catch me at Toads, you'll see me. <laughs> um, so you, you're, you're an athlete. You are an athlete. How is that? Yeah. That's a commitment. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, 6 a.m. practice is great. It's that before 8 a.m. Yeah. I've never had a class oh, it's, meeting it's before 1230 here. I can't do it. Just, <laughs> it does not happen for me. But you, so cross country is a little misleading, though, because you're, you're mostly in one country. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of like inflating your own ego, right? Pretty you're much. Mostly, yeah. Okay. What, what's your best time? Oh, um, I was honestly I was more of a track guy in high school. I ran like 154 low in the. I I don't track, even know what that means. I just asked that question. Yeah. I, sorry. It's okay. No yeah, one knows what it I means. I don't know anything. Everyone about just asks mile times. So. I'm good at running from my feelings, but not much else. <laughs> um, so, what what do you hope for in the future? Do you hope to pursue either of these? Uh, Mm, honestly, I'm just here to do well in school, you know, get a job after I get out, and if dancing takes me somewhere, then we'll see where that goes. If running takes me somewhere, we'll see where that goes, but right now I'm just focused on trying to become a PA. Well, I, I, I hope it does take you somewhere, because you're already getting some notoriety around campus. Uh, we have here, this is Kyle in QBSN Magazine, who is a, uh, a cover story here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to keep this in my personal collection. Um, so I'll leave that to your imagination. But uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. That's enough about you. I want to see your moves after we come okay. back. And I'm going to challenge you to a dance off. So stick around. You guys All don't right. want to miss it. The Bobcat Shop, located at 1010 Sherman Avenue in Hamden, your number one choice for Bobcat merchandise. The Bobcat Shop features two floors of countless styles and colors. With a full 19,000 square foot screen printing and embroidery operation on the premises, Campus Customs and Simplify can design and decorate any garment or promotional product as quickly as needed. Stop in and say hi. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Glad you stuck around. Uh, I am, just for the record, the hottest dancer this side of Sleeping Giant. So Kyle and I, right now, are going to have a dance-off. I'm going to show him what I got. I'm going to put this mic down. I'll let my legs speak for themselves. But just so you know the rules, we each get 30 seconds to dance, and we're going to judge who wins by your applause at the end. So get it ready. Get amped up. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> I was reeling you in for like 20 seconds. Oh. All right, what a wasted dance move. If I lose, I'm blaming it on you. All right, everyone, Kyle Lang. That was pretty good. All right, one more time for me. Okay. I guess that means you won, Kyle. I don't really know. We're going to have to go to Toads together and let the ladies decide. All right, well, guys, thank you all for coming out so much. Uh, if you want to join Q30 or find out more about our show, 
please like us on Facebook, follow Q30 Television at, on Twitter, at Q30TV, and watch, or follow us on Twitter also, at late night underscore Kev C. Uh, check out the rest of the show at youtube.com slash Q30TV. A big thanks to the Student Programming Board for sponsoring tonight's show, and one more thank you to you guys for coming out. We will see you all in a few weeks. Thanks for coming. Take it easy, everyone.